I'm Sophie from Trend Micro. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to spin up a demo application so you can explore the various protection modules and learn how they respond to security threats. In Deep Security Manager, under Support, go to Deployment Scripts and set the platform to Linux Agent Deployment and the Security Policy to Demo. The other fields can be left on their default setting. Copy the script to your clipboard and close the window. Now we're ready to launch the demo instance in your AWS account. In your AWS account, navigate to your EC2 console and select Instances from the side menu. Select an Ubuntu AMI, then choose T2 Micro as your instance type and click Next. On the Configure Instant Details page, select a network and subnet that have public internet access. For this demo, I'll use the default options. Open Advanced Details and place the deployment script into the box. Now, navigate to github.com slash deepsecurity slash demo app. This is our public GitHub repository. Under usage, copy the command. This will install and configure Tomcat. Paste the command underneath the deployment script, then click next. It is not necessary to add more storage or a tag. In configure security group, create an HTTP rule that has access from your IP. Note that this security group is the only thing blocking outside access to your instance until the deep security agent is installed, which is why we highly recommend you only allow access from your IP address. You're nearly done. You can proceed without a key pair and launch your instance. Click on the instance ID to navigate to the AWS console. Your instance and demo app will take about five minutes to launch and install. Once the instance is running and all the necessary checks are complete, you're ready to explore deep security as a service. To view your new instance, go to the Computers tab in Deep Security Manager. To access the demo app, go back to the AWS instance page, copy your personal public DNS, and enter the URL into a browser with slash demo app at the end. Now you can trigger a security threat of your choice. I'll trigger anti-malware. As you can see, the malware test sample is blocked by Deep Security Agent. To view the event that was triggered by the malware, go back to Deep Security Manager and double-click your computer, then go to the protection module of the event you triggered. If the event hasn't appeared, click Get Events. Double-click the event if you'd like to know more information. Now you're ready to add an AWS or Azure account of your own. For more information about your next steps with Deep Security as a Service, visit our Help Center.